Hi there, today I'm just going to do a quick run through my wireless RFID scanner. So I've got a 3D printed case here, it's a little switch on the top. So I'll flip it around so we can get a better look inside. So what we have going on here, we've got an ESP8266 just sitting down here. Uh, it is a D1 Mini Pro, so it has a LiPo charging circuitry built in. We have an 18650 battery cell and a holder. Underneath there, uh, tucked in there, you can see we've got an RFID coil, which is connected to our RDM6300 down the bottom under here. We also have a 3 volt to 5 volt boost because when we're operating on battery power, um, we don't quite get 5 volts, which the RDM6300 needs. We also have a piezoelectric buzzer and an on and off switch. So this, this little um, ESP8266 board um, had the charging circuitry built in so um, you can actually plug in a micro USB cable um, and it'll charge that battery up for you. Also got a little case here uh, it's got some screw holes and some um, screw screw holes in there as well uh, if you want but it also just kind of clicks into place as well. So this thing has two modes of operation uh, it'll work over Wi-Fi a web socket you can also plug a USB cable in as well uh, and talk to it over serial so I'll go up here now to the web interface so the web interface uh, just super simple based off bootstrap uh, you can put the device into debug mode for debug messages or reboot it uh, and it supports MDNS so you can see here you can just access it with cardreader.local and we'll go ahead and tap a card can see we get an audible beep and if we see on the screen you can see that we have logged uh, the card number there because we have debug mode turned on um, you can see some extra debug messages as well but ordinarily we will just have the card ID being printed it's also got um, basically like a delay between card reads as well so you can hold a card on here and you can see it doesn't spam it going mad. It only scans about once or twice a second, give or take. So we have it.